You're supposed to be the good one. <laughs> really? Could have fooled me. Come on! We have to keep going. That stupid water tower is in the way. Grave Golem! Take care of it! Help! A few heroes had been trapped by the flames. Unfortunately, there was no time to enjoy their suffering. We are saved! Thanks, uh, evil creature. Uh, yeah, sure, you're welcome. More or less by chance, Talia had saved the imprisoned heroes, but now was not the time to think about good deeds like that. The flames approached inexorably. You think you can escape me? Ha! I'll burn this forest down too! Good will triumph! Burn! Ah, oh, now he's gone completely insane! Take cover! Thanos' reign of fire fell on the forest and set it alight. Luckily for Talia, the firestorm seemed to spread even more quickly. Talia took to her heels. We're almost there! Come on! Keep running, you fools! Follow me! Women and Dark Elves first! Ambush! Ah, Talia. Good to see you made it this far. Now, let the Goddess Fire purify you. Oh, Thanos, what's wrong with you? You're supposed to be the good guy. You're destroying Stormbreeze. <laughs> this city would have fallen anyway. It was weak and would have failed in the fight against evil. Now that I have cleansed it with a purifying fire, it can be rebuilt stronger than ever. That is none of your concern, for it is time to cleanse you! The Grave Golem threw itself in front of Talia, a selfless act, which one would not necessarily expect from an undead. Ultimately, it paid for its deed by dying its final death. Oh? You're still alive. This is a sign from the goddess. She wants me to turn you to good again. Well, so be it. <laughs> Tanya had walked into Thanos' trap because she failed to listen to the superb narrator. Okay, no one could have guessed that Thanos would willingly burn down the capital city of Stormbreeze just to defeat his daughter? Not exactly a good paladin's finest hour, but this plan would have worked. Actually, Thanos had expected his magic to destroy Talia, but the Grave Golem had heroically thrown itself before its leader and saved her from certain death. Thanos saw it as a sign from the goddess that his foster daughter was not yet lost, and only needed a push in the right direction. And so it was that Thanos turned to the things one used to convince others and made eager use of the Inquisitor's Torture Chamber. What? You didn't expect that? Well, no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Talia could not endure the torture, I mean persuasion, forever. Her fate appeared to be sealed. But the absolute evil was not yet defeated, for it still had influence even without Talia. Light and Shadow. Thanos had captured Talia, but the ominous evil still had some influence and built a dungeon very close by. 
Do not resist the light, daughter. Purify your soul. Ah! Ah! Father, why are you doing this? These are not good deeds. You will know, daughter. Soon, you will know. The capture of Talia and her immediate torture, I mean purification, sorry, one occasionally slips up with these religious fanatics, strengthened the hero's morale. They assumed that good would now win, but they did not know about the dungeon growing in the underground. Even without Talia, the seductive evil still had some influence and powerful creatures. The evil set about raising an army, an army that would free Talia. Hmm, do we really have to? I mean, okay, she's funny and all that, but she takes away a lot of my narration time, which I could fill with brilliant monologues instead. Or I could recite a poem. Did I ever tell you the story about how I rode a bicycle over my own toe? Yeah, 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 okay, 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 you don't have to threaten me. We'll get her back. Fine. There are evil creatures in the underground? Go, my faithful. Cleanse that place. And destroy the evil scum. The lethargic evil's presence was no longer undetected. Heroes would henceforth be visiting the dungeon. You need to question and confine your evil essence. Turn to the light. <sighs> Not a chance. The dark side has cookies. Oh! The thirsting for evil evil's army had reached an island of the good, but it wouldn't remain one for long. I can still remember when you were small and asked about your parents, Talia. Grimly wanted to tell you how we cold-bloodedly slaughtered them, but I wouldn't let him. Oh, if only he would appreciate that. The advancing evil's army marched towards a small nearby village. The citizens there fearfully armed themselves and attempted to go on the offensive. Do not despair! The goddess is on our side! These evil creatures will never be able to resist warriors of the light! Destroy them! And their breeding ground in the underground! The thirsting for revenge evil's troops had discovered one of the hero's outposts. They knew what they had to do. Ha ha ha! How do you like that, Thanos? <clears throat> I mean, the inspiring me evil's army had laid waste to the outpost. Now it continued marauding through the country on its way to free Talia. You will pay for that, vile pack. The goddess will purify you, and the flames will cleanse you. Despair not, daughter. My spell will completely dominate you and drive the evil out. Once you are completely under my command, you will be free from the hold of evil. Then, in my name, you can take an army and destroy the evil in its own lair. The pillaging evil's army marched towards the village, and definitely not to buy cheap meats and sausages. Turn back to good, my child! Unfortunately, I'm finding the torture just a little distracting! Ah! The merciless evil had briefly explained to the villagers that it really only wanted to rescue Talia, but seeing as how its army was already there, it raised the village to the ground anyway. You wicked, despicable creature! May you forever burn in hell! Good shall prevail! What? The village was wiped out? Those miserable dogs. Whoever fails in the fight against evil must have been possessed by evil. It is time for my personal guards to go out and once and for all destroy those evil monsters!
The marauding evil had discovered another island of good. <laughs> they really should be better hidden if they don't want them to be plundered, burned, and desecrated. Well, that's just the way those do-gooders are. <laughs> Thanos' fortress was not far away. Nothing more stood in the way of Tanya's liberation. Well, except for the mighty Thanos, of course. Despair not, and turn away from evil, my child. The goddess will forgive you. <gasps> the goddess can kiss my ass. I prefer to stay evil. <laughs> Tanya was almost within reach of the coming to the rescue Eagle's army. Now was a really good time to think about what to do about Thanos. Do I really have to do everything myself? I'm busy trying to convert my foster daughter to good Sophia torture. Can't you see that? So be it. You'll be easy prey. Goddess. Die, scum! Thanos threw himself at the Absolute Evil's army. He wouldn't need long to deal with them, but he was distracted, and Talia was able to free herself from his mental prison. Must flee! Must reach the dungeon heart! that would take me directly to the to the throne room daughter don't do that do not let evil take hold of you again stay with me <clears throat> thank you but i can do without your conversion by torture but i won't forget it you will pay for that, and that's what my good side has to say! With these words, Talia threw herself on the dungeon heart and was teleported away by the tactical evil. Talia was still no match for Thanos, but the sly evil already had a plan. <laughs> Two sides of the medal. The helpful evil had freed Talia from her foster father, Thanos' tortures. But another confrontation was inevitable. Talia had to be prepared for it. Teleporting evil had freed Talia from Thanos' torture chamber and sent her to a distant location. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that, by the way. Quiet, I'm having one of my excessive monologues. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Freed. Talia wondered what she was supposed to do here. Yeah, what am I doing here anyway? I said quiet. Oh, um, supposed to do... The planning evil had teleported her close to Mount Destiny. There she would have to face the tests to become a real lightsaber wielder. Uh, I mean, a true evil. And don't worry, she wouldn't have to carry the well-nourished evil on her back. But the road to Mount Destiny was lined with two thriving cities. For better or for worse, these would first have to be dealt with. Well, good and evil are concepts defined by the viewer. From his fanatical, crazy view of the world, Thanos probably still thinks that he is a champion of good. Oh, you mean we could be the good guys in the end then? Sure, why not? So now pull yourself together. There are heroes here to be thrashed and tortured. The eagle-eyed evil had spotted something glittering and flashing on a small island. However, this was not easy to get to, but perhaps a little force could turn that stone into a bridge. The local heroes were not as deaf as was thought, and so the dungeon under their feet had not escaped their notice. With Thanos having deemed the failure to attack evil creatures as high treason, they hurried to attack the dungeon as quickly as possible. Ah, just let them come. We'll cut them up, chop them up, and pour a lie into their eyes! The lucky evil had found a magical obelisk. 
its magic could be channeled to form a projectile. However, some stone guards rose, obviously not at all enthusiastic about the idea. The possessive evil had taken the obelisk and could, from then on, concentrate its energy to form magical projectiles. <laughs> this was going to be fun. The has to explore everything evil had roused a few stone guards. These wanted to explain with big stony fists exactly what they thought of that. What can I do for you? The stomping evil had startled a few stone guards, which unfortunately didn't impress them at all. The stumbling upon stuff as if by chance evil had found a second of it. This too would be able to create powerful magical projectiles and was therefore well guided. The monopolizing evil had now taken the second obelisk too. True to the motto, two are better than one. It could now use twice the amount of destructive energy. The mage tower shield generator had been destroyed, leaving the catapult unprotected, just the way the unprotected exploiting evil liked it. There are enemies in your dungeon. The exploratory evil had discovered a human city once home to a dark subculture, extra dark. It was heavily guarded. An attack would have about the same chance of success as a snowball in hell. Maybe there were other ways to get in there. Ouch! Talia and the oh-so-proud evil had done a great job and reduced both cities to piles of smoking rubble. The road to Mount Destiny was now wide open. Phew, that was fun. After the uh, thing with Thanos, I didn't think I still had it in me. But yes, I can still destroy. Oh, that was efficient of you. I mean, me. <laughs> you know, I've become quite used to this whole being evil thing. It's not bad. <laughs> you see? That's what I like to hear. There's obviously enough of me in you, like of you and me. Oh, this split personality thing is still totally confusing. An exciting monologue, or is it dialogue? Which I want to end at this point due to total boredom. Besides, the conversation doesn't include the brilliant narrator, so it's completely absurd anyway. Anyway, the worry-free evil continued on to Mount Destiny. A disturbance in the force. Talia had climbed Mount Destiny. The unspeakable evil led her here to strengthen her with a ritual. Whew. Oh man, what a climb. Why does this ritual have to take place up here? Heroes training always in remote places is done. Know that you should, young Padawan. <laughs> Talia had climbed Mount Destiny. The insidious evil had brought her here so she could become more powerful. This required the ritual of sacrifice. Sacrifice? Doesn't sound so great right off the bat. Of course, Talia would not be sacrificed, but rather her minions. More specifically, one of each kind of Titan should be sacrificed in a ritual. The ogre would have to be led to this spot to trigger the ritual. And this is where the grave golem would have to wait to perform the ritual. Finally, the pit fiend would have to be brought exactly here to complete the ritual. Okay, I can do that. But uh, what's the deal with this wall of fire? Impetuous you are, young Padawan. First, your task you must do. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. As long as you stop talking funny, I'll go along with it. The 
heroes in the area were apparently unwilling to simply watch the devious people work and instead set out to attack the dungeon. <laughs> 